lovelies hello excellent life gang and yes your girl is serving glow after glow yes we have to finish this year glowing and welcome 2021 glowing please 2021 by the grace of god has to be afraid of us we have to smash those goals so guys please if you hear any noise in the background please it's africa and i'm going to the beach today yes and i'm serving brown skin girl your skin just like pearls anyway guys today on my youtube channel i would like to talk about how to communicate because i realized that many a times many people listen to respond and not to understand so how you do it or how i do it personally when i enter a conversation with somebody or i'm discussing with somebody i write i set an intention what i want to achieve with this conversation is it to resolve conflict if it's to resolve conflict i talk about it and i try my best to ask questions or to ensure that the person is understanding me and i always use the word i feel like because i realize that when you use the word i feel like the person doesn't come to you with de defensiveness because nobody likes criticizing or instead you say you feel um you make me it's like you're accusing the person meanwhile when you say i feel like yeah the person it's you're talking about you you and the person is more open to receive you and in addition just listen like when many people are telling you your story their story or people are telling you their story if you don't have something kind or nice to say just say staying quiet and telling you the person that her emotions are valid or his emotions are valid is a good thing because i feel like when people start saying oh okay for example i had a conversation with a friend and i was telling him about a foul experience i had with somebody and immediately the person said oh you're being bitter and i'm like no i'm not being bitter if i were bitter i would do things to hurt the person but this is my experience i just feel like when you assign certain like mislabeling emotions is very dangerous because there are some people who have had a very hard life for example there are some abuse victims or rape victims who haven't shed light on their story because they don't want to be called vengeful or stuff like that or bitter or angry or difficult no please tell your stories ladies and men tell your stories because there are some fucked f u c k e d um people outside there like some women who are like that please tell your stories you are entitled to your story it, the fact that you speak about an experience doesn't mean that oh you're not over it or like there's no time limit there's no time lapse for you to get over an experience you might be over it as well but you still have to share it you still have to speak about it it's an experience and you don't know how you might help people to deal like you might help other people that's why i believe in sharing my experiences and i created this channel to encourage you to live your best life and keep on pushing forward in addition like i just feel like people who are so quick to judge to assign um labels to emotions like and mis mislabeling their emotions even i just feel like they're coming it's they're, they're speaking from their ego and that's like it's an experience you know nothing about so you saying somebody is bitter difficult angry and stuff like that yes they are angry people but you being so quick when somebody is telling you about something that hurts them i don't think you should you should be able to point you should be pointing out that oh you are faulty and your stuff like it hurt them their emotions are valid all of us have experiences like where you have been raised in different ways and all of us all of us sorry have different traumas that affect us and even if it's the same trauma you went through the same trauma with somebody for example you were in a, a car accident with another person it was the same accident but the way it you reacted to it and the way somebody reacts to that same accident is different so you do not have the right to tell somebody that oh get over something something quickly you should be over this by now you should be this you should address something this way you are not them you can only offer them understanding and by understanding if you don't have something nice to say just just affirm their emotions just say yes you, your emotions are valid that's it i'm so sad that this happened to you but your emotions are valid take the time you need take the time you need yes guys please if, if anybody has a better way also to communicate please leave me a comment below this life all of us are trying to figure out i'm also trying to figure out stuff so yeah let's help each other we are better together so let's help each other 
face life and live our excellent life. As I said, 2021, by the grace of God, has to be afraid of us. God wants us to live our excellent life, and while doing that, we should be compassionate and kind to people and not be quick to judge and listen to people. Just being quiet in somebody's space, somebody who is hurt, just being there with them, you must not say something. It's a lot of comfort. It's comforting. It's you acknowledging them and affirming them. You must not be, say something and stuff like that. So, yeah. Love you guys. Let's spread positive energy and love everywhere we go. Let's be testaments and reflections of God. Love you guys. Bisu bisu. I am going to spread brown girl magic and black girl magic on the beach.